Hey there, YouTube, this is Chris Bogart with a um, deck profile of the deck I went to Locals with Saturday. It's Tuesday right now, so this is sort of late. But I went playing GBs. Uh, most of you guys are going to say this is an anti meta deck. No. GBs is anti meta. This is anti meta GBs. Uh, it's pretty much double the anti meta. I'm going to show you uh, how it went through. I won 3-1 at my local after the 4 round, four round preliminaries, then it goes to top 8. I had horrible tiebreakers, so I didn't make top 8. I got 11th. But, yeah, my tiebreakers were that bad. I'll just get into it. 1 of Bestiari, Mermillo, Hoplomis. That's pretty standard. 1 Darius. Uh, explain why later. 2 Request. I explain why later. And 2 Laquari. 3 sort of a lot. That's the main GB stuff. And one grab mold, just get over his end mains and stuff. Bounce and keep locking your opponent. That GB's pretty much freely tagged. And then for fill up the monster space, play three proven ground. It's really good. Hurts when Thunder King's on field now. Alright, now to explain the one Darius. One Darius, because you play three D Fisher. Uh, really broke in this format right now. It doesn't hurt in Zectors though. Uh, it hurts Dino Rabbit a little, but it's good against uh, windups and Dark Worlds. Pretty much two of the four big decks right now. So, moving on. Staples, Reborn, Book, Hole. Don't play heavies and GBs. 3 MST, get rid of the back rows. So those are all staples. Uh, this deck is a low spell count deck, because... Um, it's a, a very trap based deck. So we'll start it off with Huge Revolution, one Stardust, or Starlight. Uh they're both good at different times, so you play one of each. No debating there. It's, it's like when if I play two Starlight, one of you will bitch. If I play two Huge Revolution, one of you will bitch. So I'll play one of each. So you could bitch about why I'm not playing two of each. No matter what you guys will bitch. Uh honestly. Against wind ups, dino rabbits, uh insectors, other stuff. Damn great of a card. Uh, summon limit is really good. It also hurts Samurai like hell. You have it set in your opponent. Alright. Speaking of Samurai sleeves. You have it set in your opponent's like Summon Kagegi, Special Kage Musha. Summon limit. Pass turn. Uh, the ruling on this is pretty much if it, even if it's not face up, if your opponent already summoned two times before this in this turn, you flip it, they can't summon anymore. It's a powerful card. Next. Uh, three main deck vanities emptiness. Oh, also, uh, this is a lot of skill to. Pl it takes a lot of skill to play this card in this in deck, in this deck because GBs usually you don't need to summon more than twice, but if you do, be careful. You have summon limits. You also have three MST to shut itself down if for yourself if you really have to to push your game, which rarely ever happens, but it's there. Also, it takes skill to play this with GBs. What you have to do is have a twenty one hundred Liquari. Vanity's emptiness times three. Uh, it works off really well with. Two Macrocosmos, which is why you play two Equest. D Fissure doesn't get rid of the War Chariot, but Macro does. So, gets in there. Three Vanities Emptiness literally shuts down every deck, really. Um, it's a great card. Macrocosmos really shuts down Insectors. Though you don't see Insectors that much because they're not as good. The best deck right now, Dino Rabbits. Second best, Dark Worlds, if you're playing Dino Rabbits. If you're playing this, honestly, it's a really good deck. Oh, by the way, I lost to Light Swarms. <clears throat> just because man they main deck decrees, and my side wasn't ready for that. Um, even though I had a great side deck against that, I just never drew well. I side to that guy. Trap Eater is a great card to side. Uh, gets rid of everything really. Vanity's up to this Macrocosmos. And it's a level 4 tuner. So, yeah. But I did get smashed by Swarns, which um, I'll explain later. But. Uh, this is thing with Light Swarms. Uh, my friend Josh Luke, shout out to you, Josh. He, when he, like, literally wrecks someone, he, the main thing he says is, I pounded you deep with Swarms. So when he won, he was like, I pounded you deep with Swarms! Um, Swarms have this anti back Swarms, uh, he pounded me deep with Swarms, and apparently Swarms have this STD that cause, cause you to play Swarms when you get pounded deep by them. So I'm going to have a Lightsworn deck profile coming up soon. 
Um, thumbs up this video if you want to see that. But I got pounded by Sworns. Alright, so yeah, that hurts Sworns. Macrocosmos and Deficient Domain hurt them. But the Lila really kicked me. Next, uh, staples for GBs. You have the three War Chariot. It's this format. Hurts and Zectors. And everything, really. And three Wabaku. It just stops stuff from happening. And lets you go place. Next, uh, staples for traps. You have the last six cards of the game. Sol Solemn Brigade and Mirror Force Double Trent. Oh, fail. This is why I don't like doing deck profiles with iPhones and, um, no tripod. One-handed. Double Trent or Mirror Force. Last six car trap cards of the game. And probably the best. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, comment, subscribe. This deck is really, really good. I don't lose with it that often, especially in the meta. If I'm going to YCS a Philly, this will be this with some tweaks is will be what I'm running. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Curry, subscribe. If, if you have secret Gladiator B stuff, please hit me up. Uh, don't complain about why I don't play Retiari. It's sort of obvious. And uh, yeah, if you have Ultra of these, two more secret D fissures. All right, if you have two more secret D fissures. Three Ultra Proven Grounds, a uh, Super Grand Mole from Re Mega Pack, Secrets, Secrets, Secret, 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 and Secrets of those, uh, and possibly high ready staples like Hollow Book, Reborn Book, Whole Heavy, MSTs, um, if you have a Secret Starlight, hit me up with that, Summon Limitzer cheap and commons i also need two more secret war chariots because these two supers are beat to hell and supers so yeah two more of those vanity's emptiness uh hollow macro cosmos if you have those i really want to bling out this deck for ycs wabaku doesn't come hollow <laughs> uh ultra warnings and a gold judgment uh and hollowed out um mirror intervals so if you guys have that stuff hit me up also, I still have the Oricalcos, Ori where is it, Oricalcos deck for sale. I could print a lot of these if that's really what you want. Um, so hit me up if you want these. Just remember, they're just Oricas. And these are not the ones you'll be getting. These are misprints, like this first layer to seal has two layers and misprinted effects. But the newer ones, um, pictures. The ones that are here, all the monsters are secret rares, and um, and they're all not misprinted. <laughs> we'll put it like that. But they're really good looking. And plus, uh, for all you guys, uh, I have a, a Geo Pro video, but I'm on 1025 and join my Hamachis. It's Chris Burger fans one through ten right now. Uh, you will see which ones are empty. That's ten, by the way. Which ones aren't? But join them if you want. And um, password is capital C, lowercase o, capital B. Like this. Like that. Print like that. That's the password. But yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Comment, right, subscribe. Sorry this video has been so long. It's what happens. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Offer on the Oricalcos decks. I also have Orca video update coming up soon. And, um, I'll hopefully have some Vanguard videos up, too, soon. But, yeah, I freaking love this game. Oh, uh, it's so fun. So good. Alright, yep, thanks for watching this video. Peace out, you two.